Hey, what's up, comic book fans? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner, and you're with me, none other than Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do another comic book haul. That's right, guys, we are on week 40, and this week's books, kind of some exciting ones. We got a couple releases from Marvel Now, and Green Lantern, and cool stuff. Um... So let's just jump right into it. No real news, not a big news week, nothing really exciting going on. So we're just going to get right into the comics. Didn't even get that many comics this week, even though Marvel Now had a couple of new titles. I didn't get any of the new or any of the old titles just because it's no point when mostly everything is starting over. So with that being said, we're going to just jump right into it. And there's the bag. There it goes. We're done. Bag is history. It's on the floor now. It's it's disappeared. If you worry about the bag, don't worry about it. It's gone. It's gone. gone. Alright. First off, if any of my viewers or subscribers um, are in the Orlando area or in the Florida area or close to around here, um, there is a launch party on November 4th. Now, this could be at your local comic book shop. Um, uh, and, or I'm sorry, November 14th. I'm sorry about that. This could be at your local comic book shop, but if you're in my area, within the Orlando area, um, you can go to um, my comic book store, which is Comic Central, and they're having an X-Men launch party. Um, and uh, they're having a wide selection of like X-Men books, one to three dollar issues, Wolverine back issues, 20% off of all X-Men, X-Force titles, all kinds of stuff. Um, so it's something to look forward to if you are an X-Men fan and if you're within my Orlando area. Everybody else for the 14th, check your local comic shop and see if they're having a party for you. That's it for that. Uh, that's all the cool news I have, really. And next, I went to the shop and picked up this right here. This is a cool poster, a little advertisement poster. All new journey begins, journey into mystery 646, starring the Lady Sith. That's right. So we got that. And then I got two of them because on the back of it, we have the advertisement for November 12th. We have all this. The Avengers. The Avengers End Times. So we have all that going on right now as we speak. But that was on the back of that poster. So I got two of those for myself. And what do I do with all that stuff? I don't even know, but I just have it anyway. So now, with the haul this week, uh, it's about eight books, so not too many. So the first one that I got was from IDW, and it's Danger Girl G.I. Joe, issue number four. That's right. Uh, J. Scott Campbell does all the artwork uh, to this series, or all the cover work to this series. And it's um, it's been an excellent, excellent issue, or excellent series so far to, um, to read. And to watch, uh, Jesus, I can't talk today. To read and to look at because the interior art is really, really good stuff. Um, here's uh, Paige, Abby Chase. Um, all the work is done very, very well. Um, here's the part where Flint and Zartan go at it, so you can see the detail in that. So, this series has. Uh, not disappointed me at all. I love everything about it, and I hope it continues with IDW. Um, I enjoy it a lot, and it's a fun comic book to read. It's definitely fun. Uh, next, we have uh, Robin Hood issue number two. Um, this was sold out at my comic shop, and uh, the first issue was phenomenal. Um, so I wanted to get this in hard copy. Uh, even though we do have access to it on Dark Avenger Inc. Um, but this is a great book to read. I suggest picking it up if you haven't. Um, 
really good story first issue I'm interested to see uh, where it goes from here on out so that's Robin Hood issue number two next we have from DC um, we have Earth 2 issue number six um, I like this series it's it's really good um, where it last end up, ended off was was pretty strange just because Alan Scott was left hanging with his dead lover and choosing sides on what he wants to do. Um, nevertheless, though, it it's a it's a great series. It's a, it's different from the um, from the normal series from regular Earth here on Earth Two. Everything's different, but I like it. Artwork's good, solid, solid um, series. So if you're interested in it, go ahead and check it out. Um, next, we got Green Lantern issue 14, uh, Rise of the Third Army continues. Um, the Red Lantern series was pretty good. Guardians uh, was poor. Um, what else do we have? Uh, the Core Green Lantern Corpse was a pretty good one. So this has been up and down for me this story so far, but hopefully now. The action picks up, and uh, we see a little bit more of this third army, and what this real this story really uh, takes place, shape, and form. Um, it's kind of been the same thing at the end of each issue. How you see little bits and pieces of the third army rise, and how they take over the hosts and things like that. So um, it is decent. Uh, I just wanted to pick up a little bit more pace. So Green Lantern issue number fourteen. Next. A, I want to say a series that I have not been happy with so far, not the actual book itself, but the actual crossing over um, story arc here with Minimum Carnage. We're in part four now. Um, cover art and interior art in this series overall has been good. Um, Carnage has been nice to look at. Um, but I'm not a fan, really, of all these micro-universe type of characters. Um, I thought the story would go in a different direction. Um, but it's not horrible either. Uh, whenever you have Venom and Carnage and Scarlet Spider in the same book, it's not half bad. I just wish the enemies they were with or characters they were with were a little bit different. So I expected something, you know, just a little bit different from this. But... We'll see how it turns out. So, um, Minimum Carnage Part 4 Scarlet Spider issue number 11. So next we have the series finale uh, to Avengers Academy. That is issue number 39. Um, the last uh, issue was basically a wrap up of everything that was going on. It was basically the X-Men and... Uh, the young Avengers basically um, just working together, playing a flag football game, and it was a fun issue to read. And now we'll get to see where uh, how this all ends if they graduate from the academy and they go their separate ways. And then what happens after this is you're going to have Avengers Arena that comes in Marvel now. So uh, Avengers Academy uh, issue 39, series finale. So I like the series. I thought it was pretty decent and now Marvel now Deadpool issue number one I have been waiting for this book this is one of my most anticipated books um, sorry about that um, of the week Deadpool issue one from Marvel now uh, reason being is Tony Mar Tony Moore does the artwork in this book and I am just ecstatic about it. Walking Dead, he started it. I loved his artwork in those first six issues that he did. Um, and here, here just reminds me of that. Like, that face right there reminds me of Shane before he got killed when he was going psycho. Um, so I'm so looking forward to reading this story. So looking forward to enjoying the artwork. Um, it just looks like a phenomenal book. I've already heard good things about it at the comic book store today. Um, so this is my most highly anticipated book 
um, of the week. Um, if you guys want to see a review um, on this book, it will be done, but it's not going to be done on here. It's going to be done on the other channel, Dark Avenger Inc. Um, it should be done either today or tomorrow. Um, so look for that on there, guys, Dark Avenger Inc., okay? Um, that review will definitely be on there. We're going to be reviewing at least all the number ones um, on that channel. And whoever's not doing number ones of a specific title will be doing on their own individual channels. So my uh, share of the week was Deadpool number one. And our next title, which is Iron Man number one. So I am doing both these titles on Inc. Uh, any other Avenger Inc. titles that I'm not doing number ones on um, of Marvel now will be doing on this channel. So Iron Man number one uh, is another book that I've picked up. I already read it and i have already posting a review on Dark Avenger Inc. as we speak. Um, it is uploading there as well so if you guys take some time check out that review. It's going to be a funny one. Um, I'm not going to give it away. I want you guys to, to see it. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it will be fun time. Uh, but Iron Man number one was a pretty good book. Just a brief description. Um, you know, a little slow in the beginning, but it picks up. And I think where the story is going to go, it, it's going to be a nice book. And it is a perfect jumping on point for a lot of you readers out there that have not read Iron Man for a long time. This is really, really good. So. Iron Man issue one, guys. And that's it. That's the haul for the week. Um, these were my two highly anticipated books. So um, go out on Dark Avenger Inc. Check out those reviews. And a lot of the other books will be reviewed on Comic Book Corner. And if there's any particular book that you guys might like reviewed, uh, just leave it in the comments below. Thank you. Just give me some comments on what you think about this haul and what books are you guys most excited about this week. And uh, I'm interested to, to read and find out. So, guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner. I'm sorry my voice is a little rough. I'm sick and I'm a little hard to think this week. So uh, I appreciate the uh, patience. So, guys, thank you for watching. And until the next Comic Book Review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And thank you for watching Comic Book Corner. Take care, everyone.